Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I hope this video turns out okay uh, because I'm having issues today. Uh, but I really wanted to get this out and I would be remiss if I didn't um, just say my condolences to the Judd family. Uh, it's just so sad when you hear about a family member who has taken their own life. But you guys know that Naomi has been very open about her mental health issues uh, for as long as I can remember. I met them, oh my, over 30 years ago. Um, and I thought that they were the sweetest women. I I um, always thought after meeting them. Now, I don't know how they act off stage. <laughs> I can't say I knew them or anything. But I often uh, thought about them as a blueprint when I wanted to sing uh, with my offspring. I always thought about the Judds. And I thought that that was such a dynamic uh, duo. They were the only mother and daughter to win a Grammy, I believe. And they were very talented. I loved them a lot. I can see Winona uh, right now with that guitar and her mom and them coming out and song I pretty much uh, 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 liked that you know was Grandpa. Tell us about the good old days. You know, and that's what a lot of us do. We look to the elders to tell us what it used to be like. And I don't ever want to lose that value to my family, to my community, because it's very hard for a lot of us in our community, since we're so scattered, to even honor our elderly and to even want to know what it was like before it got like it was or like it is now. And so that song is always was always a reflection for me. Also I, I connected with them because of, of of Naomi's openness about her mental health. She talked about her mental health health long before it was popular and when a lot of artists who all suffer from some type of mental illness, if you ask me, we're open to talk about it. Naomi took the torch, and I think she began to open up in real life about her battles with mental illness, and that's why I always respect her. Uh, so it says that country legend Naomi Judd took her own life at 76 on Saturday after a long time battle with mental illness. A representative for judge did not immediately respond for comment. Naomi's daughters, Ashley Judd and Winona Judd, announced their mother's death in an emotional statement this weekend. Today, we sisters experienced a tragedy. We lost our beautiful mother to the disease of mental illness. We are shattered. We are navigating profound grief and know that as we loved her, she was loved by her public. We are in unknown territory. A oh, pepper, you having a nightmare? Naomi's husband of 32 years, Larry Strickland, added in his statement, Naomi's uh, family requests privacy during this heartbreaking time. Naomi's daughters broke into tears as they inducted their late mother into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Winona, 57, and Ashley, 54, appeared on stage at the awards show in Nashville just one day after their mother had died. Because the judge, Naomi and Winona, mom and daughter duo, had been honored with a spot on the list. Who knows? She may have felt the anxiety. I mean, you just... 
Mama loves you so much, a tearful Ashley told the audience, and I'm sorry that she couldn't hang on until today. Uh, she, she had a beautiful smile as well. And all I can say is meeting her and her daughter, I was profoundly impressed with just how plain they were. Even without all the hype and glitter and rhinestones that they had on, they uh, seemed just so plain Jane. Um, that's the aura I got. Your esteem for her and your regard for her really penetrated her heart, she continued. This is Ashley talking now. As it was your affection for her that did keep her going in the last years. Uh, Naomi had been open about her mental health struggles. And during an interview on Good Morning America in 2016, the singer said she had been facing extreme and severe depression that forced her into reclusion. She explained that her condition worsened after she and Winona stopped touring as the judge in 2011. Fans see me in the rhinestone, you know, the glitter in my hair. That really is who I am. But then I will come home and not leave the house for three weeks not get out of my pajamas and not practice normal hygiene. It was really bad, she told Robin Roberts. Naomi, who detailed her mental health issues in the book 2016, River of Time, My Descent into Depression and How, I'm, how I Emerged with Hope, also confessed that she had seriously considered taking her own life at a bridge near her farm. Meanwhile, her eldest daughter, Winona, told Six Page last year that she attempted suicide at 18, and she still suffers from depression. Mental illness is real, y'all. And uh, when you have a family member that takes their own life. Like I told you about Maurice, my cousin, who couldn't stop using. And he was so disappointed in himself because he could not stop smoking drugs. And he put that gun up to his mouth and shot his brains out. And it was the worst feeling in the world. Oh. There's just nothing to say. Is 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 nothing to say. You can only try to comfort the ones that are still here because they are truly the ones suffering. She said, I have thoughts where I say to myself, this is too much. And then I call somebody, she told us. I will literally, I literally will call somebody because I have been stuck in my sadness where I didn't. And we have to reach out. And that's been the hardest thing for me because I'm not good at asking for help. And that's it. How many of y'all are okay with asking for help? I'm not. I'm still not. I'm not comfortable with that at all. And this is why this article breaks my heart. Um, because for me, Naomi uh, transcended color. Her talking so openly about her challenges and mental health is what really, in my mind and in my heart, made her a champion. Because you don't find too many arrogant, pompous, self-absorbed people talking about their shortcomings. Naomi did. She did. And I respect her so much for it. 
And because of her openness about her mental illness, in my opinion, I think it was only then that a lot of celebrities began to um, understand that they would still live if they talked about their anxieties, their bouts with depression, all those things. Additionally, Ashley has openly talked about her own struggles. And she told the Glamour uh, magazine that she entered the Shades of Hope Treatment Center in 2006 for my codependence in my relationships, depression, blaming, raging, numbing, denying, and minimizing my feelings. But because my addictions were behavioral and not chemical, I wouldn't have known to seek treatment. At Shades of Hope, my behaviors were treated like addictions, and those behaviors were killing me spiritually. The same as someone who was sitting on a corner with a bottle in a brown paper bag. Yes, it's the truth. So if you or somebody you know um, is affected by issues of depression, and you know it, and they talk about ending it, uh, why don't you call a crisis number or call a national private uh, talk line 1-800-273-TALK 1-800-273-TALK because you may seem you may think that taking yourself out of the equation would just re relieve it all but it, it's not. It, it, there's so much that you still have. If you could just make it for one more day. If somebody could convince you to just hold on. Because there's so many people that love you. That do really care for you. And like I said, as was with my cousins, a lot of times, the Louis has is, is, is never been the same. Every time I go to St. Louis, I think about it. So, they leave a lasting effect on the family members when you decide to take your life. And um, Naomi and Ashley are never going to be the same. Uh, and uh, I mean, I just wish the family well. I just wish the family well. May God bless you.